Oh, I can't play that for that long, but well, um, <clears throat> I no, I don't know. I got baked again to help me sleep, and <laughs> that's like stuff that I'll listen to on my speakers. But my sub isn't as good as it used to be, so like it's pretty much only the speakers now, so it's not that good. And um, I'm trying to buy another one, but probably have to wait till I get paid. And uh, speaking of that, dude, I've been working six, no, I worked five days last week, and I worked 20, dude, I worked every day this weekend, um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and I worked six hours the first day, um, eight and a half hours the next day, and nine hours the next day, so I almost worked 24 hours in one weekend, and um, now I'm going to work six days in a week. Or this week because I took two people's shifts. So I'm working six out of seven days. And I'm going to get <laughs> get a huge paycheck. So I'm looking forward to it. But it is kind of stressful because I don't have a car. And I can't miss any more school because of truancy. So I have to make... Because <laughs> I almost got in trouble for that. Um, but anyways, we're going to find an RU match. I actually haven't played with this team in like two days because um, I've been playing OU a little bit to practice with this one team I don't know I kinda got bored or I didn't get bored of RU but I wanted to take a break because I was making really bad teams and I've been using this team in OU but it kinda sucks because I lost the last two ones with it but um, and they were against like not even good people too just using like standard stuff or whatever but Let's see. I'm feeling no. I would say the Del Fox lead, but he has this. But it would it wouldn't be sashed, would it? No. But I'm just gonna lead off with Azelf. I never convinced myself into doing that. And he has this, which probably is especially defensive. And I would probably look so freaking like silly if someone saw me right now. Like I'm in my like purple, green, and pink striped button down shirt and it's like something I wear to work all right and uh, just boxers and uh, freaking like half knee high uh, black socks that have dinosaurs on not not like little dinosaurs but they have just a big t-rex on them on each of them it's <laughs> but they're freaking awesome and I wear them like because they're black I'll wear them like under my work clothes or whatever but oh, I can go into this because he's probably going for the mega horn or he goes to the knockoff and I get the boost and I could go into brrr, but I'm just going to get my rocks up because rocks are always good for residual isn't it jellicent? I'm just gonna taunt this. What if it's a water spout like I used to run? I should run that. That's such a fun set. Like, imagine going for water spout there. That's so much better. Even on Rotom, it might do like a little bit, not a lot, but it's a water spout. And actually, now I'm going into this. No burn. <laughs> Dang it. It's only because I said it. I should go for the volt switch too. So I don't even care if this comes in. It's probably not going to because he knows I'm lefties. He might go into this. Yep. And oh, I guess I could have willowed, but now I get to go into this. And. I could go for the Psychic, but that's not us. No, 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 no. Fire Blast. I really actually kind of want to switch to Flamethrower because I miss too, many, too, too much and it's annoying as crap. But when I do hit like that, it's pretty awesome. If he goes into size, I might do something. Yeah, I might actually stay in right here. No, that is not a 2 a KO, so 
That is not Zard strong. Because he can get up his rocks now, so I'm just going to stay. Well, actually, Grass Knot. Oh, he does predict me to not go for the Fire Blast. But I'm, I'm still going to go for the Fire Blast. Because I'm in Blaze range. And I have other moves to switch to. That still does nothing. But I can switch out because this thing doesn't have rocks. And go to this. Because he has Will Wisp Scald, what? Shadow Baller, Nightshade, and Recover. Okay, that's not doing too much. And I have. Well, I'm probably just going to Will Wisp right here. Because if I go for the Leaf Storm, he could go into this. And I'm um, just going to see what he wants to do. He wants to stay in. So I guess he was scouting. Or he predicted the... I don't even know, but... Should I predict him to switch and go for the Willow? No, I'm just going to Pain Split. Go for the Recover, okay. Now he might switch, like... Um, I have the two moves to hit him super effectively, and he can switch out to a couple things. Unless he wants to stay in the Shadow Ball. But nope. Wants to go to Excavalor. And... <laughs> Now it's a burn, so that's pretty awesome. And I can Volt Switch to even... Well, I actually can go to this, but I was going to say City Sushi, but I don't want that knockoff for no reason. Because he does have a pretty bulky team. <laughs> and that's annoying. And, wow, okay, he didn't take that very well at all. But, should I go into... I don't know if EQ could kill. One hundred and seventy. Let's see. I'm I'm going for it, dude. Thirty six percent. Yeah, we can do this. Start that timer too. Let's check this guy's rank. Actually, no, I don't even want to see it. I'll just wait till the end, see how much I go up or down, and then see where he's at. And why is he taking so long? He just has to stay in here and, like, choose a move. Unless he was predicting me to switch, or I don't even know. But... I took him out, and now I might want to go into Zoroark, but he might think I'm sashed, and I could just go for the EQ, but that is Seismitoad, and I definitely don't want to stay in here, but at the same time I do, so what if he gets up the rocks? I'm going to go into this as fodder, or get the rocks up, oh, yep, because I thought he was going to go for the rocks, but if he attacked me, I could see what he was going to do, and I got to, so... I'm going to go into this, threaten the Leaf Storm, and go for it. Because <laughs> I haven't gone for it yet. Like, I've been waiting to the entire game. And there, there you go. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so, you know how I told you I worked 23 hours or whatever? It's at a shoe store, and we have this thing called extensions. Like, I don't go in there with an 8-hour shift. Like, they, like, tell me that they want me to stay, and I stay for, like, an extra two hours, but then I end up just staying in, like, just doing a full eight-hour shift, and, yeah, so, I got this thing, it's called the swag bag, and I got a cup that says shoe lover on it, and you, it has, like, a lid that you screw on, and that has one of those cups that, or the, the straws that can't come out. I don't know, it's a really cool cup, but it just says shoe lover on it. <laughs> and it's so convenient. Oh, he already went for the aromatherapy. I'm going to willow then. He's just trying to pass this. Should I just go for the willow again? 
But if he stays in, then that means I'm just going to keep getting burned. <laughs> I could just switch to Mesper, but... I don't know. This guy does not like to move very fast. He likes to take his good time. Yeah, we're doing a really long recording because he's taking his good time. This is what I say to that. <laughs> this is like, gosh, that's boring. And one thing that I don't know if it's a bad thing, but one of the main things that I'm like stressed about is that I'm not able to play Counter-Strike, honestly. Because <laughs> I barely have any time to play games, and I like like to have a lot of time when I'm going to play Counter-Strike because it takes me forever to warm up. And just, like, those reasons, I just like to have a lot of time and not rush myself or whatever. So I just play Pokemon and chess. And I just haven't been able to play Counter-Strike since, like, Monday or Wednesday or something. So... Yeah, and I'm going to go into this to take this on, like, completely. Took that, not too bad. And I'm going to go for none other than the parting shot. Oh, yes. The best pivot move there is, <laughs> actually. Besides U-turn, U-turn is forever the best. And, uh, I don't know, sub pass is pretty awesome, but... I don't like like how sub takes up one of your move slots and then baton pass, so it's like I don't know. But this lowers their attack, so it's like awesome. You could just wish stall me. So I'm gonna go into YOLO and just go for that iron head. Oh, he took it too. Oh, but he got flinched. Okay, thank you. Saving us time. Really. Oh, man. Why did I go for that? I'm so dumb. But I think I'm faster than this. Um, is that 115? No, dude. I am faster than that. And. I'm going to save that to be faster than Zoroark, obviously. Go into this because it doesn't take either of these on. <laughs> like, really. But now, just go into, well, I don't want to miss the Fire Blast. Actually, I don't even care. He doesn't, oh, <laughs> did I say it? I, I think I said it, dude. I think I said miss the fire blast. But. Go into this. Hope to god fucking EQ kills. No, we'll do even better. Final gambit. It's gonna be so funny. Because. He could just sucker punch her. I don't even know. I don't want to risk that. So And I have this to take it on. But I'm even gonna go to... City Sushi. I pro I could have easily killed him with the EQ there, I know, but... I mean, these are like the perfect like things I would switch into to take this on. And I guess he was scarfed or something because he locked himself in a flamethrower, I guess. Like, why did he go for that? Dude, I'm so low on the ladder. Like, no, 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 no. Oh, I did not... I completely switched to this team. Okay, well, I guess I'll play it. Because I don't have enough time to do a different one. Because I gotta go to bed and wake up to get the bus, probably. Because <laughs> I, I can't drive to school anymore. And it's so annoying. But actually, I'm gonna go into Miancha. My Lodic. So, I'm just going to U-turn out, go to Dat Celebi, yeah, he took that like a boss, and I don't know if I should Psychic, that would be a, 
a play, but I could also just U turn with Psychic. And Spy Death Drop. And he gets the burn. So, should I Leaf Storm or. Let's go for it. Oh, he does go into Scalopede this time. Dang it! He predicted the crap out of me. Let's go for the U Turn because he's not going to Mega Horn. Or Poison Jab. Or anything. He's, he's going to. Oh, I should have just switched to him. He's just watching to see what I'm going to do. I missed that, so I can go for the Psychic. Oh, live that and take him out, please. Yes! That's sick, and I'm going to die, but that's worth it. And the special attacker is Charizard, but I have things for this, like Rotom. And, yeah. Now I'm going to go into Talonflame, maybe take this on. No, just take this on. So just you turn out of there. And I'm thinking about putting Jolly to outpace like 123 speed and 125. And yeah, that's a pretty good speed. 126. I think it would be worth it. Because I would lose so much power. Hmm. So. Just going to Rotom because I definitely don't want Scissor to be burned. He's just going to try and get the burn on everything. I don't even want to burn him though. But I don't want to switch, so I'm just going to burn this, I guess. Awesome. I don't know what he's going to do, but I'm just going to Volt Switch out. He might Encore me. Like, oh, I guess I can scout for that. Why am I playing OU? I don't. I want to play RU in Ladder. I, I actually want to use this. This team isn't that good, but it's not that bad. And if I play it right, I can usually at least bring it to a close match. And I can threaten being 126 speed because I think that's a 116. It's funny because they make things like they made the speed tier higher this gen like they're just no one notices but i'm just noticing the speed tiers get higher every single gen like fourth gen it was such a slow one like people would run scarfed base 75s and in the beginning of fifth gen it was 85 and now it it, it, it was 95 in the uh nu tier for a while but well actually it still is and then 105 is more like RU and so on and whatever. But now they put in like some, like they put in four or five things in the 120 speed or 120 base speed pretty much. And I'm actually just going to go for the Brave Bird. Yep. If he brings in this, that's not good. Except I can just go for the Brave Bird. I like how in RU it's kind of cool like there's no real speed tier that's played like that you have to look out for or scarf or whatever like you have the slow pokes or <laughs> like the actual slow pokes but the you have the slow pokemon and the medium speed Pokemon and the the like faster ones. And yeah. It's just C. So I guess this is the dragon one because he's black. No, just kidding, but I can even just U-turn and see what he mega evolves into. But if he goes into the Y, that's pretty much going to leave me foddering something, so I'll just break bird. 
No, it was this. So I could have gone to something else, but gonna die. Oh, I didn't even. I got this. And. Wrote him. Because <laughs> I'm not defensive with my Goliath score. And I actually just have to volt switch out. Oh, God. That is the opposite of ideal. <laughs> go into glass score, hope we can take a hit. And go for the earthquake. This thing is more on the defensive side too. Oh my god. And he can well what happens if he roosts? <laughs> He's not flying. So he could probably just take me off the dragon claw. Or do that and we're good. We're in for the clear. <laughs> Cause the glass score outspeeds everything. But he doesn't stay in versus this. He U turns out. And goes to road. Yeah. How much did Volt Switch do? Mm, I guess he never used to verse this, but I'm gonna volt switch straight up. Oh, get the crit for making the right play. No, just kidding. But me and Chow for days. I actually might want to put a coverage move for that on here, like dragon. No, <laughs> like, um, what would it get? Actually, it wouldn't really get a good move to hit this. Like what? Um. Why would he go into this? You're gonna die. <laughs> I don't understand. Now I'm just gonna knock off. No, or taunt, but knock off. He's not defensive, definitely. Cosmic power, okay, I should've taunted. Should've taunted. No, don't do that. <laughs> Side jump kick. And do nothing. Moonblast, take me out, and go into <laughs> Scizor, and go for that BP. Oh, he lives it, and doesn't take me out. Dang. So, fortunately, I'm going to be able to knock him out. So that was the RU and OU game. I really hope you enjoyed. Tell me things that I could use successfully with Pangoro and his pivot move. Um, he's specially defensive to take on Cresselia and Psychic types and Ghost types. His, and his moveset is Crunch, Circle Throw, Taunt, and um, whatever the move is. The, the move that passes him. Like, it's not Baton Pass, so he doesn't pass the stats. He just switches out. It's pretty much memento, but he doesn't die. Like, that's actually what it is. But, yeah. So, just tell me things that I could use with that. I can't think of the name. Let's see. Parting shot. Yeah, that. This is the moveset, and these are my EVs at the moment. So, yeah, I'm trying to think of a set and things to use it with. I was thinking of this because it traps things and he can be slow and whatever. <clears throat> this because things want to switch out and I'm trying, I might want to switch, but I'm trying to get something that's like pretty fast, but it also hits hard, like faster than Kiram and a really fast sweeper that can just like, you know, things that can't be switched into, like Banded Sock before everyone carried uh, Masharna or Eruption Typhlosion or something. I don't know. Banded. <laughs> banded uh, Rhyperior. But nah. Alright. See you guys later.